one year of work at night produced a 37 foot long single drawing of the entire profile of the city. And I was surprised by, by what happened because it was not done before, strangely for me, because it was all there. And so I realized that drawing, line drawing, architecturally inspired line drawing can work to tell something about a place by constantly lying in terms of perspectives, mm. because you can't do a single perspective because everything looks wrong. And you can put all of yourself in transferring what you feel and what you see in a, in a clear, as you said, hyper detail, which is not hyper detail, because I thought of a drawing that could be drawn, could, that could be colored by kids, that could be interacted with and understand, yes. you know, what is the sky and et cetera, et cetera. And so these things just happened to me. Wow. Amazing. So, so there was this massive kind of paper mural that you that you'd put together, thirty-seven feet, which is you know the size of a middle-range sailboat. I mean, this is a really big thing, right? This is unwieldy to say the least. It's an enormous piece of art, and that was um, essentially picked up by the New Yorker, right? Or at least something yeah. kind of picked up the curiosity of other people around what you were doing about the city, drawing everyone's yeah, favorite well city, and they wanted to celebrate it, right? Yeah, I wrote to many people when it was done because I, I realized that there wasn't a drawing that represented the entire, the entirety of the island. And uh, I I wrote to several people in you know magazines and newspapers saying, look, this happened to me. Uh, mm. I drew this uh, one big piece of paper that has the entirety of the island of Manhattan. And uh, Paul Goldberger of the New Yorker, the New Yorker critic at the time, wrote me back and said, why don't you come and show me? So I went to the New Yorker offices and I enrolled for the first time because my house was a, a little bit bigger than this studio closet where I'm in now. And so I could never see the entirety of what I had done yeah. because I never measured anything. I never measured the height, the proportion. So it was all done as a as an attempt to render the, the relationship with the place. And I enrolled the 37 feet in the corridor at the New Yorker, and everybody came out like at a, at a market looking at this drawing, recognizing the city, which seemed surprising to me because I had drawn it so they could recognize it. And the energy was incredible. And so that led to a book contract uh, with Random House. And so I left the career of the architect, uh, I don't know, forever or who knows, yes, until now. And, and I did the other side and that came out. Uh, after a year and a half or so um, as, a, as an accordion book in 2001. Yeah. 